Oh, I had such a hard time with my own uh, sexual identity. I wasn't comfortable until I was 51. So my heart goes out to people that ha are having difficulties. You know, my parents were very homophobic. They had a hard time. But you also have to give your parents and your loved ones time to think about it, go through the pain of it, whatever it is for them. Uh, but most importantly, when we come out the other side to love each other unconditionally is really important. And we got to help the trans community. It's not right the way they're being treated. So I, I don't know. We, we got a lot to do. But, we, you know, first of all, we're all human and we bleed red, every single person in the world. Well, you are such an inspiration to you. It is always a dream come true every time I, I'm with you, like just breathing the same air. <laughs> no, really, honestly. Uh, really? Thank I guess you. In, I guess so in the COVID sweet. era, that's probably not a, the right thing to say. Oh, you can say whatever you want. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Pride, baby. Pride. 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 Uh, what do I have this thing on for? Oh, well. Oh, you've got all the, yeah. Now I'm trying to make it look clean for the interviews. Okay. Well, you, know, you said like you, you know you come from a perspective, but so many people can relate to that. You have that depth of understanding of like just trying to trying to walk that line and trying to figure it out. Right, tightrope. Yeah. I've been on. I always feel like I've been on a tightrope my whole life, and I'm still on it. Trying to when you're trying to make things happen, you know, it's just trying to include everyone and try <clears throat> try to make sure your audience doesn't leave you. So you got to be very careful. Try to figure out how they touch the hearts and minds of people, so just to think about things and each person to be okay.